Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this easy crochet crop top. This crop top can be converted into three different styles. And the best thing about this crop top is that you can wear a bra with straps underneath. The ribbon pattern is available for free on my blog. The link is in the description bar. You will need Aran worsted weight or 10 ply yarn, scissors, a 5mm or a US H 8 crochet hook, a darning needle, and some safety pins or stitch markers. Today I'm using Lion Brand jeans in the colour Faded. It's 100% acrylic, but it's super soft and easy to work with. Today I'm making this top in a size extra small. For instructions for all sizes, check out the blog post. The blog post also teaches you how to measure yourself to get the perfect fit. To begin, create a slip knot anywhere you like. For this pattern, we're going to be using a foundation single crochet chain. It makes the top stretchier and easier to put on. Insert your hook into the loop and chain two. Insert your hook into the first chain. Yarn over and pull through a loop. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through one loop. You should have two loops on your hook. The stitch you just created will be the chain of your single crochet. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. You've created your first foundation single crochet. Now you're going to insert your hook in between the chain and the single crochet. Yarn over and pull through one loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop again, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. You've now created your second foundation single crochet. And you're just going to repeat these steps. Insert your hook into the space in between the chain and the single crochet. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And you're just going to repeat this process until your foundation single crochet chain is long enough to fit around your overbust. I did 84 foundation single crochets and I'm normally a size extra small. Once you've finished your foundation single crochet chain, wrap the chain around your bust, so the fullest part of your upper body, and it's okay if it stretches, just make sure the two ends can meet. If the two ends meet, you don't need to increase. If there's a gap, measure the distance between the two ends. Make sure that there are no twists in your chain, and we're going to slip stitch into the first chain. To start round one, we're going to chain one, and it counts as a stitch, and then we're just going to single crochet into each stitch along the round. To single crochet, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through a loop. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You've created one single crochet. Place one single crochet in each stitch along the round. We're almost at the end of round one and we're going to place in our last single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch into that chain space. To start round two, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. If you're not increasing, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. Slip stitch into the chain one and then turn. 
Repeat round two until you've reached your desired length. If you want to make the ruche or sweetheart top, take into account that your top will become shorter. If you're increasing, you're going to add sets of placing two single crochets into the same stitch. Please refer to the blog post to calculate the exact number of stitches you need. Once your crop top is your desired length, I personally crocheted 46 rows. You are going to slip stitch into that first chain one. And then you're going to fasten off. This is what the finished body piece looks like. Because we turned after every chain, we have a nice straight seam down the middle of the top. Now I would suggest trying on the top and marking where you'd like the straps to go. I place the seam in the middle of the front of the top because the ruching hides it. But if you want the square neck version of this top, I would suggest placing it at the back or the side. Once you've marked where you'd like your strap to start, insert your hook one gap underneath the stitch marker. So you don't want to insert your hook underneath that thin chain. Here you can see I've inserted the hook into the first round of single crochets. It just helps to make the strap sturdier. Secure your yarn and pull through a loop. You're going to chain one and then you're going to insert your hook into the same space as the chain one and single crochet. Single crochet into the next three stitches. You can make the straps wider by adding more single crochets. Once your straps are your desired width, chain one and turn. Single crochet into the first stitch and then single crochet until the end of the row. Chain one and then turn. Repeat this until your straps are your desired length. Personally, I stitched 34 rows. Once your strap is your desired length, fasten off and leave a tail of yarn. We're going to use this tail of yarn to weave the end of the strap to the back of the top. Thread your darning needle and then we're going to sew back and forth in between the top until the strap is secure. Once your strap is nice and secure, cut off your yarn and repeat these steps for the other side. Here is the square neck top. If you only wanted the square neck top, you've now finished. For the ruched top, cut a length of yarn three times as long as the body of your top. Thread your needle with the piece of yarn. Insert your hook at the bottom of the top to the right of the seam and you're going to weave the yarn up and over each row.
When you get to the top, stitch across the seam to the left hand side. Continue to sew the thread up and over each row. Once you've finished sewing, pull on both tails of yarn at the same time. You can customise this top to the length and the amount of ruching that you want. Once you're at your desired length, tie a double knot and then weave in the tails of your yarn. To create a bandeau crop top, make a slip knot and insert your hook into the loop. Now we're going to create a chain of chains. The length should be twice the length of the body of the crop top plus 15 centimeters. The chain is now the desired length. You're going to cut your yarn and then you're going to thread that tiny piece of yarn through the last loop. Pull tight on both ends of the chain and then trim away the excess. We're now going to weave the chain through the top. If you need help, use your crochet hook to pull the chain through the stitches. Once you've woven in your chain, pull on the ends to make sure they're even. The best thing about this sweetheart style top is that you can constantly change the length and just tie a bow at the bottom to secure the top. Now you've finished your sweetheart crop top. 